Hello, Reen here. So it's a very hot and an extremely humid day here in Latvia, Riga. So what I have been doing for about half a day, although I have to be doing some serious things, I've just been moving through the apartment from one room to the other trying to find a cooler pl place to stay. And yeah, so eventually I decided to do another BJD video for you. So, moving from one couch to another, simply because I have no better backgrounds in here to film my dollies. Because, well, I have kind of a creative chaos going on right now. I have all those BJD projects and other hobby projects all over the place. So yeah, filming on a couch. Now, what I would like to tell you about is my BJD hybrid project. I have been talking to my new friend on YouTube, Agent Knopf, about these heads here, which are they are Doll Family A practice heads in MSD size, and I've seen that quite a lot of people who got these heads have been having trouble to hybrid them with something and what I haven't noticed right away when I bought the hats that these are the bigger MSD hats for your box type uh, MSDs, the larger ones not the currently popular smaller slim MSDs like I have in my collection so I couldn't simply find bodies for them to fit into my collection as MSDs so I've decided to go for SD bodies and since I have two hats and I wanted to make twins and it's kind of expensive to get two bodies, SD bodies right away so I went for the cheapest option out there which are these here those are Miradol bodies uh, the mirror doll bodies are supposed to be 60 cm for 60 cm dolls together with these heads those are 58 cm which is roughly your ordinary smaller female SD doll the heads come in normal white the mirror doll bodies also come in normal white and as you can see it's a perfect color match which is great, hooray! As for the proportions, well, I like the smaller chest that these bodies have two different chest pieces, the smaller one and as you can see the bigger one kind of like the smaller one because it looks smoother and everything but proportion wise you can see that the big one is also nice I'm not putting this head on to the body right now because it came with a bent hook and I cannot get the head, get the hook through the head's hole to put it on. So this one will stay off and this head will stay on. As for the bodies, um, the chest piece is interchangeable. This is the newest one. So basically if you get your average as the body 60 centimeter body you'll be getting it with the bigger chest piece but you can also buy the smaller chest piece for around 25 dollars or so i'm not sure but well it's very cheap so you can try out both or you can just get the full body with the smaller chest piece it's also an option they do not differ much, they shouldn't differ much, but as you can see the hands here are slightly longer than here and this body here came in slightly worse sanded than this one. I'm not so happy with this body actually, you cannot see it on camera, but well this place here surely needs sanding and the hand here has a slight dent etc etc, but overall um, it's actually quite a better result than I have expected for the price uh, so yeah I'm quite happy with these bodies for the price that I paid for them it's probably the cheapest hybrids that you can get out there 
Uh, let me try and talk about what does the body do. So you have as hooks. What surprised me that mirror doll bodies actually come with S hooks because I think that before that they didn't have S hooks in their hands and feet, only the elastic going through the hands themselves. Okay, I have restocked the elastic and the S hooks to restring them, which is a good thing because yeah, you can see it's extremely bent. I haven't done anything to these bodies, so they're very loosely strung, they're very kicky, so just bear with it for now. Um, let's start with the hand. Uh, it has a groove here that should help it stay up. It's difficult to put it that way, but in some cases it actually does help. Yeah, got it. Now, the elbows are double jointed. You can see the peanut here and the hand is able to go all the way to the top. So you can kind of make the doll touch its face. I do need to hot glue this here. I haven't done anything to it um, yet. I don't really like how the, this piece here looks, the elbow itself, because well, it does stand out a lot. And I have seen people doing modifications on these bodies to clear these problems. One other thing about these 60 centimeter bodies is that the hand piece here is actually oval, not round. The newer ones, which are the slightly longer 62 centimeter ones, they do have a round piece here. But judging from how the hand looks in here, it's actually easy to change it with some better looking hands, more aesthetically looking hands, um, round ones even, and probably with no extra modding, so it's gonna work. Now the chest piece, it has no grooves, no nothing to click it into place, but it actually does sometimes stay in some positions, like, yeah, hunch backwards, goes to the sides, extremely to the sides, like this, goes front, actually you can see that it's, uh, sorry, that's gonna be going very swiftly. Now you have your Sorry, the body is dancing. You have this, this piece here, um, sideways to the back, front, this, back. Let's try get them both bent back with like this, front, front, flex in, flex in, back in needs hot glue and maybe wiring to make it work. Now, um, hip joints, your ordinary ones, they have a mobility joint like this, but it has this groove here that actually clicks it back into place. It doesn't go around, but you can use it to make your body sit maybe, pull the knees higher up and sit cross-legged or, or something. Go back in. Now the knees are not double jointed, they're single jointed. I do not exactly like this part as well, like the elbow, but if you have a dress, maybe in some pants or, or in a skirt, the shape is actually very smooth and it does sit on its knees quite nicely actually. So you, even though being single jointed, now the legs are round shaped, I believe. Let me see. No, it's, yes, it is round, but the, the shape itself of the leg here is slightly oval as well. Um, the ball here is attached to the foot, doesn't go off. And I th the feet are, well, your ordinary feet, not so beautiful. I think I'll be changing those from some other company as well. And as for the body and the head, as you can see, whoa, sorry, plastic going out, sit on, uh, the, the neck is slightly bigger than the head, 
and well it does need some money maybe getting the next slightly smaller around here on the top but generally it's a good range of movements and no big gaps or anything so looking up slightly looking down very well side side okay side so yeah sweating and modding a little bit so that the head and the neck stick nicely together but yeah full work actually pretty much about my hybrids i have a bigger bjd project going on right now we have this annual doll exhibition during a local convention so i'm preparing for that the convention and the exhibition will happen uh, at the beginning of august and i will be getting to these guys here as soon as i'm done with that project so i really hope that i will make these characters and these hybrids work maybe by winter or by spring and those actually could be my first characters who I will have completed with all the appropriate clothes and accessories and things like that. So hopefully I can make it work. I will be making more videos as soon as I get to back to these hybrids and I will show the progress. That's pretty much it right now, so yeah. See you in the next video. Bye bye!